Hello everyone and welcome back to Homo's Freedom Campaign for the Harrier in DCS World where we're now on mission 2, also called the Straits of Homo's, just Homo's part 2. This is taking place in the evening of the same day as the previous episode but at this point things have rather escalated because of the attacks in the previous mission Iran has responded by launching a flotilla of corvettes out towards the Hormoz Strait with the intention of blockading it completely. And so our mission is to take off with four Harriers, find and intercept the corvettes and destroy them all. Current rules of engagement are we're free to engage any naval vessels that are confirmed as hostile but we can only engage SAM sites or other aircraft if we are fired upon. So anyway, let's jump into our first night mission in the Harrier. So I know roughly the right area to look in. It's been marked ahead of time, so I'm just searching for it here and then start to see a bit of a flash there, just where I'm putting the targeting marker. And so turn down to my targeting pod. Do you see that there are a few dots there? Just need to play around with the contrast in the gain a little bit to make sure that I can actually see the target. Still I'm having a bit of a hard job, but then zoom in and can definitely see the three boats. So zoom in, try and get a mark here. Now in terms of armament for this mission, we have four times uh, the Maverick AGM 65Fs, the anti-shipping Mavericks. Um, so I do have enough for all of these ships. Problem is they are going to try and shoot down the Mavericks. I have pre-warmed my Mavericks so they're all ready to go. Just did the master arm there. Currently a little bit too far, so it's not actually picking up these things on point track mode. I do have it set to try and pick up on point track, but it's just having a bit of difficulty. We are 20 miles out. Now, uh, this isn't my first attempt at this mission. I did manage to complete it before and then promptly bend it on landing because, funnily enough, carrier landings at night are quite challenging. But going back in on this attempt, so I already know sort of what's going to go on. Already got a little bit of a plan in mind. Right now, just closing the distance, waiting for the lock to actually be established. And slowly getting used to the controls, still making mistakes quite a lot with the Harrier. It does not have the most intuitive uh, HOTAS controls, so uh, there's quite a lot of back and forth. Uh, very enthusiastic and determined voice acting there. And at this point, I have the lock. I do tell one of my wingmen to engage, not sending them all in because they do have a habit of all targeting the same ship and firing all four of their missiles at one ship, which isn't really helpful. But I do want another plane going in so that any SeaWiz systems that they try and shoot down missiles with are going to have a hard job. Let's get the first lock there, missile away, no problem. Turning for the second ship in the line. My issue that I'm having here is after you fire a missile, the next one automatically enters INS instead of the Maverick mode. So I can't actually lock here, and it's just taking me a little while to realise that it's still in INS tracking mode. So there we go. Flip it over to IR Mav, immediately get a lock. Uncage the next one. This time I know to turn it onto IR Mav. 
get the lock really quickly, fire away third rifle there, and then turn away from the ships. Put my um, system into radar jamming there, just to give any radar AAA a little bit of a harder time if they're trying to track me and or these Mavericks. Get my first hit there, destroy one ship. My wingman does get a hit on the second ship, I believe, but doesn't destroy it. There, my missile goes in, destroys the second, and the third. So there we go. All three ships hit in very rapid succession, and that is all the targets down. So now I'm just starting to peel away. Do get the little prompt there to RTB. I'm on the wrong channel, so flip over to the right channel. Yeah, so the mission did tell me to be on channel 5, but I got a bit confused because the kneeboard said channel 5 was for the tanker. But apparently we are just using the tanker frequency for that now. It's a little bit strange, but hey ho. And anyway, we head back. I do manage to make it back to the carrier. Although there was a bit of a air-to-air -air fight that was all involving the uh, F-14s. I didn't really feel like getting involved since I just have a single sidewinder. And so I obey the mission instructions and RTB. I'm heading in. Again, I know this isn't the correct approach, but this is the one that I manage a lot better. And this time I do remember to actually power down the engine instead of ramping up the engine, so make a fairly decent landing. So I took out all three of the cruisers there, got all three of those kills. As for the F-14 flight, two of them get shot down by um, SA-10 sites, in response, they do take out three MiG-29s uh, and a F-4. So, a bit of an interesting exchange. They had a harder time than we did, but I managed to make it back, power down the plane, and everything is all good for there. So yeah, very interesting mission. Is very hard landing at night. But isn't too bad flying at night once you've got all of the uh, various MFDs set up to the right level of brightness. So yeah, definitely the campaign is quickly ramping up on this one. We're very much in open conflict with Iran, and I look forward to seeing the next one. Hope to catch you there. Until then, remember to be kind to yourselves and everyone else. Cheers.